In today's video, I want to talk about sorting data in Excel. A lot of people get information just like I have here on the screen. It's just a data dump. Uh, these are a bunch of training and testing scores that my students have submitted in Gmetrics. And so I don't really need a lot of this information, but I want to quickly look at it and pick the information that I need. And so a lot of people will use the filter buttons to sort information quickly. For example, I'm clicking that drop down and clicking sort A to Z. And it goes ahead and it sorts it alphabetically. But what they don't realize is that they can actually do a multi-level sort so they can uh, sort multiple columns and criterias. And so we're going to go ahead and select our data here. I'm going to put my cursor here in A1 and I'll go ahead and select my data. And once I've done that, I'm on the Home tab. And what I want to do is go to the Editing group and click Sort and Filter. And what we'll do is we'll do a custom sort here. So the first thing I want to do is we'll go ahead and select first name so that the names of my students are sorted alphabetically. We'll keep it A to Z. And then what we want to do is click add level. We'll do mode and there's only two modes testing and training. We'll keep that A to Z so that testing appears before training the TE versus the TR. Let's go ahead and add another level. And what we'll do this time is select test. And that lists all of the different projects that they've been working on. And we've been working in Word. We just finished. So we'll go ahead and do Z to A so that Word actually appears first in my list. And we'll add another level. This time we'll go ahead and select complete date. And that gives me the option to do oldest to newest or what I want is newest to oldest. And then I'll go ahead and select OK. Notice that it went ahead and it sorted all those criterias. The first name here. A to Z and then we have the mode and we have the test type and the completion date and now I can just quickly go through this and say okay Araya got testing score number three 857 is not as strong as I would like but it could be worse and I can see that she got a 97 on the training very easy to look through this data because there's 500 lines I hope that you now have the ability to go ahead and use the multi-sort feature in Excel while you work on your worksheets.